Hi, I'm Steve Hodges. Please call me Steve. And this is an orientation video for my summer online Perl programming class. Maybe you've seen this recent article. Test shows 99.99% of high school seniors can't read Perl. Recent results from the standardized Perl fluency test show that 99.99% of U.S. high school seniors can't read Perl. This disturbing statistic shows that American students are painfully unprepared for life after graduation. Perl experts were astounded by the results. I was amazed that none of the students were able to read this simple sentence. I mean, come on, that's so easy, says Paul Chen, chairman of the Learn Perl or Die Association, which administered the test nationwide. All right, there. Yep. Pearl programs can't actually look like this. Uh, hopefully the ones that we write this semester won't be quite this bad. There you go, Pearl. There's your first look at Pearl. All right, if you decide to stay enrolled in this class, let's uh, take a look at some Pearl that's perhaps not so extreme. This class is uh, centered around the uh, textbook, uh, Learning Pearl, uh, from uh, O'Reilly and Associates. It's one of my very favorite computer texts. You could probably read this book without knowing any programming, and, and some folks try and do that and and are perhaps not quite as happy with the textbook. Um, I really think this, this textbook is pitched at someone who has had some programming experience, so the prerequisite for this course is one semester of previous programming experience in either C++ or Java, and then I think this is a great textbook, and you'll find that the difficulty isn't too much um, and that you have a, a pretty positive experience. Recommended preparation for this class is at least one semester of familiarity with the Flintstones cartoon. When you're using this uh, textbook, the first uh, chapter is an introduction and overview. So if you find that it goes a little bit fast, don't worry. Um, chapter two is kind of where the uh, basic uh, material begins. So that's kind of the uh, uh, main portion of this class. In some ways, this class is like a book club. We're going to read the chapters together, work on the exercises, discuss, and then I'll have, you know, programming assignments that um, you can do using the new material that you've learned. The design of this class, uh, we're going to have uh, approximately uh, seven programming assignments plus an extra credit assignment. And the idea is that you could do those programs now knowing just what you already know in C++ or Java. And you can use Perl as if it was a C++ or Java-like language and solve those programs uh, using Perl um, in the style that you already know from C++ or Java. As you work through the uh, Perl material, you'll learn some uh, techniques and commands that are specific to Perl that will make solving the programs easier. The pace of the programs matches up the textbook chapters so that you'll learn new techniques and commands uh, before that you have to uh, put them into use in the uh, programming assignments. Uh, each of the programming assignments has a specific due date and once they're collected I'll post at least one sample solution. I'll encourage you to post your solutions and then we can discuss um, them before we move on to the um, next assignment. One of the nice things about Perl language is how lightweight it can be. So from the moment you have an idea of a program that you want to write, the um, time it takes to get that first program written and running is, is very low. In my core computer science classes, I can stress and emphasize the the importance of planning your program before you begin working on it. In this class, I think it's very appropriate and fun to have a different emphasis, and that is to begin programming process by opening your text editor and starting to write the program. And you write it, and then you're done with it, and then it works, and then you move on. And it's certainly appropriate for um, you to code some programs that way. Certainly not all programs, and not even most programs, but it's nice to have a uh, different a workflow when uh, when that's appropriate and I think Perl is a, is a good programming language for that. Perl is a scripting programming language 
And that means that your program text, your source code, is the also the kind of the final executing program. Um, so we don't have a separate compilation step. Uh, the Perl param is interpreted, which means that at the time that you invoke it or run it, um, that's when it's normally uh, compiled and, and run.